This course presents the things that you will need to know to pass the Java certification exam. This course is based on the information Sun requires for its exam for a Sun certified programmer for Java 2 platform. The move from Java version 1.4 to 1.5 was a big jump and required a new exam. Even the tone of the exam changed. It became more of a program writing quiz as opposed to the previous exams which were multiple choice questions. By the way, version 1.5 is the same as version 5.0. This whole versioning thing is a bit odd. Let me give you a brief look at it. The basis of all modern Java programming is Java 2. Now don't worry about it, it's been around so long now that everybody has had the chance to upgrade and everything you'll encounter will be Java 2. So you can actually forget about the 2, that just means Java now. The first certification test was based on Java version 1.2. This, by the way, was the first version that was known as Java 2. The next certification exam was based on that original test and based on Java version 1.4. The odd thing is that to upgrade the exam from version 1.2 to 1.4, they took more out than they put in. They left out all of the graphics. They also left out the entire set of I.O. classes. There were no questions on the exam about the graphical interface construction or about I.O. systems. They didn't add much, just some information about assertions and more depth into stuff that was already there. So the test just became a little deeper instead of being so broad. By the way, if you have a Java certification and you're looking for an upgrade to that, this course will work for you. There is an upgrade exam that's only half as long as the regular exam. It just covers the new stuff that's been added and all of that's covered in this course. It's just more depth into what you already know, so watching these movies should bring you up to speed. Now even though the AWT, the Abstract Windowing Toolkit, is not included in the exam, you will get a brief introduction of that because I'm teaching this thing visually so some of my example programs will pop up a window to display the results from a running program. Then with this newest exam some of the more fundamental I.O. things went back in but there is still no requirement for a GUI. This newest version of the exam is based on Java version 5.0. Now all the time this version of Java was in beta testing it was billed as version 1.5 so the 5.0 number didn't come about until the day of its release. The result is that the documentation in this version of Java is mixed. Some say 1.5 and some say 5.0, but it's all the same. On top of that, you'll see some places refer to this version of Java as the Tiger. If you want to keep up with the latest versions of Java as they're released, you can see this on my website. I have lots of other Java stuff, such as a link to all the Java compilers. If you're shopping for a Java compiler in IDE, you can find links to all of them at this website. I don't recommend any one of them over any of the others because everybody has a different way of working. You can download and try a bunch of them if you want, or if you prefer, you can just read their websites and figure out which one you think would be the one that you would like the best. There were some large additions to the language in version 5, and you'll find a good bit of it in this course. They added some fundamental language things, such as a new optional syntax on the for loop, and generic names for classes.